Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Happy holidays and a Merry Christmas to everyone. Today we'll be discussing the Quantum Raid Guide, but before that, if you want to see more XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, I was not able to play the Quantum Raid event for Halloween, but I'm here now for Christmas, so let's start this guide. So to play this um, content, this um, this event slash content, um, you need Levi Stones for this game. So it's actually here, and um, you will need Levi Stones. Um, and this will actually this this one will generate you Levi Stones. Aside from that, you can also get Levi Stones from your Airship Squadron donation using your Wing tokens. And also, you can use alliance points in your door to creation. So, these will actually fuel your what do you call this? Your progress in the game. So, why we do the quantum raid? This is just very simple, um, because we are actually after the um, the awards or the gifts once we finish them. So here are a couple of uh, rewards that actually are very good and you need in the progress in the game, especially this one, the Fate Core Recruit Ticket. And also, you will also be able to, if you're a free-to-play player, you'll also be getting rewards for the free pass um, above and the premium pass below for those who paid for the Quantum Raid Pass. Okay, so how do you progress in this game? Um, You'll be starting off with actually these heroes. Um, they're the only ones with a with a level one um, on them at the start of the game. As you progress, you should be able to level up other heroes. So if you can look at my roster, I've had actually several um, several um, um, heroes already leveled up. So I'll I'll try to suggest. So these these are the the heroes that I'm that I'm actually um, bringing in right now for my team. Um, I'm no longer using the the what do you call this the the default heroes that were given to me because most of these heroes have better skills, especially for the generals because they have a level twenty unique skill. So I'm actually trying to prioritize generals for my team. And I'll discuss later the different jobs um, per front, mid, and back. But number one to take note of is get more heroes as quick as you can. So for you to get more heroes, um, you have to attain these tones up here. So fire, frost, um, nature, machine, darkness, and light. For you to attain them, you have to actually play through the game and uh, let's let's start with one content so that you can see the gameplay at least so i'm already at hard and i'm at stage eight so for you to be able to to get these tones you, sh you should be able to clear these stages um as you progress through the game as you progress um on the harder stages from easy hard and so on um, rewards are actually getting better. So again, once you start the game, it's it's a bit it, it it would be a bit tedious because you don't have that that much of a heroes or that 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 many heroes in your roster. So try to grind the game out. And aside from the stages or the difficulty like hard stage eight, you can actually purchase those stones um, at the shop later. So. Let's finish this content first, then we proceed to the shop. Also, I, I mentioned before, there are, there are several hero classifications. Um, you have your, your uh, mid, back, and I think front. So we'll discuss that once this is done. Also, try to consider um, bringing um, various various elements to your teams because if you concentrate on just one element um i don't think you'll you'll be leveling them up as fast as you can because you'll be sharing your resources with multiple um heroes 
at most have at um have two two heroes of the same element so for my team i i think i have two dark i have two frost i have two machine and two light and what else sorry i can see only one light two two fire and one nature so try to share um uh, try to share um elements or colors of each element um as few as possible so that they can be leveled up faster so if you can see here i i have here a fire element stone i have three two and so on and this one is the raid uh, raid uh, quantum raid coupon that you actually um spend later and this is the experience point as well so for the experience it goes here to this one the quantum raid pass and for the coupon you can spend it here and the shop do not do not spend um um when you are starting this game or you you're starting at probably easy and the stages one to eight do not actually start in getting rewards uh, down here um always prioritize the ones on top because these will actually hasten or make your progress faster in the game so that is actually my best tip for you guys do not be greedy and and get those items as early as possible because you'll be getting them anyway once you progress faster in the game so let's go back to managing the team so you have front mid and back for front you have knight so knight is decreases all um increases defense of all allies which i like so i have one um i also have one um paladin for invincibility for 3.5 seconds take note as you level them up the, um, the stats go even higher and i have a guardian so loom has provoked for five seconds and decreases attack by 20 percent so those are your front um i recommend at least one of each or a mix of you can actually take um the um, what do you call this the paladin out and switch it for a knight or a guardian preferably a knight for your mid, you have a warrior um, who stuns. Uh, preferably, you have another warrior. Or actually, the, the assassin is 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 not really helpful um, based on the gameplay that I had already. So I'm trying to replace um, a weekend Zion. I also had a ranger. Uh, Dorka is good, and actually Rachel is good. So I'm currently using for mid. Um, um, I'm taking out uh, Awakened Zeon and putting in Rachel because I'm using two warriors at this point because they deal much bigger damage. And for the back part, you have your Trickster, which is increases all allies' attack speed. Your Cleric is basically your healer and your Enchanter is decreases attack speed of the enemy. So again, try to put uh, at least a group of four so that you can mix and match your your heroes so i have another healer here um for lepin to complement um to complement anastasia if i need more healers in this team so because because normally what i do is um usually i mix and match depending if i'm if i'm fighting the boss at stage nine or i'm i'm clearing uh, mobs at stages one to eight so um those are the possible heroes that you can actually use in your team um basically right now i'm practically contented with this one with the lineup that, I, that i've chosen um i'm actually just leveling them up because i can't clear yet stage nine once you're starting you actually need to grind out stages one to four um depending on which do you want to prefer but from there once you gain the momentum once you gain heroes more heroes you'll be able to progress through the stage so before you level up anybody here from front mid and back try to um, complete your roster first then level them up based on based on the stones that you get because every time you every time you play for example a stage it's usually a random random gift or random prizes or random stones that are being given out 
when choosing heroes it would really depend on what stones you really get or if you want to control the stones that you get you actually get them in the shop so it's also important that you unlock um, um, all the heroes um, skills up to level 4 before you level them up further so if you have 9 heroes already um, unlock their their skills up to level 4 each of them before going further we go before you go further 5 and up and also take note um, it's important that you try to level up um, the your your generals to up to level 20 if you can uh, because they have unique skills but based on my progress actually I I don't think I don't think I will if, if I go past hard I don't think it would be um, uh, essential that you go past the next the, the next stage after hard because i think you'd be able to clear all of the prizes even after hard um i'm not sure what the what what the next stage is um but i'm sure that after hard that's the you know the preferred um the preferred stage that you will have to grind out all of the prizes for the quantum raid also take note of this one the the what do you call this the the hero um affinity and weakness or probably the strength so if you carry if you carry um nature um weakness is fire but uh nature is strong against machine and for dark and dark and light they're they're against each other so they cancel out each other so if you can see again most of uh, most of the gems are given to me at random so uh, build your team based on what is being given to you okay i think the next stage for yeah i, I think it's very uh, the the next stage would be ideal to stay in very hard after that um if you want to grind further you can actually go further than very hard to extreme okay so so that's it for me guys um so far i'm actually i'm actually good with the game um the game mode it's not really that exciting anyway um it's i i'm actually just grinding it because of the rewards because of the freebies that i'll be getting and some something new in terms of what to do Okay, so if you have any more questions, um, write it down below in the comment section or you have, if you have comments. So anyway, you all stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out.